Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome, welcome Ooh. to your favorite Friday yes. show. I know everybody plans our week around this. Oh, and absolutely! And I'm sorry that we are so late. Yeah, we got to okay. Yeah. So good things that took priority. We do have a big announcement today, so we're gonna wait until a couple of people um, join us. But mm-hmm. while we get started, um, we have something. Well, we have a couple of things um, to mm-hmm. celebrate this morning. Yes. One of them that isn't really like, well, I guess it is important, but um, I am officially 29 days out Whoa. from graduation. So 29 mm-hmm. days, and then it'll all be over. Okay. You're like going to not know what to do with your life. I know. It's kind of daunting, but it'll yeah. be good. Um, but then the other thing is, we've kind of talked about this before, but I kind of fell into this job, um, and that happened a year ago this week. So it is... Me and Amanda's one year anniversary. Oh, cheers. cheers. Uh, and it's oh, actually very cool. Yeah, cheers to another like a yeah. year ahead of us. Yes. Um, and it's been a really. It's not felt like it's been a year. It's. I feel, feel like, like it's, it's been, been about six. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Like six months. Where we are. Six weeks. What I don't happens? know. It, it, it just has really really flown by, and I'm very yeah. grateful for the opportunity. Which I feel, it's hard to like get sentimental about Please it tell me because all we're the friends, awesome and I also cry about everything. So like I can't just start. She does. She makes in. me feel like I have the coldest heart. She's like that made me cry. And I was like, oh, not me. Yeah, I don't know. It's totally. So it's good. But... It's a blessing and a curse, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's our one year anniversary, and mm-hmm. it's been a year since we have worked really, really hard on getting the hatchery Ooh. started. Um. And I think in the past year, if I've learned anything, it's being confident and comfortable with the idea of shift and with mm-hmm. change. Mm-hmm. Um, change is obviously a constant, but as a lot of you know, um, I think in small business, it's almost a near constant. Um, it's an almost everyday thing. Um, and it's not something that I ever felt super comfortable with until this year. Um, And I've learned a lot about what it means to be confident and comfortable and the fact that not everything is the same every single day. So Yeah, I did so much trust. And I almost feel like if you are a small business and you're not, like, shifting in one way or the other, that that's kind of scary. Yeah. If you're not. Because you should always be listening to your market and making adjustments. But. We've had a lot of change over the past year. Those of us, those of you that have followed along for a while, even just in the past four or five months, um, our focus has changed a lot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we are still a co-working space with on-site child care, but our goals and dreams over the next year really are to start building out ourselves as a small business resource center. And that brings us to our big announcement for the day and for the week and for the next few months that we're really excited to be able to talk about. Yeah. So, yeah. guess what, guys? So that uh, Hatcher University that we talked about probably three months ago or so, I don't know. It started off as the idea for like a business boot camp. Yeah. So like a three part class that yeah. walks you through marketing, launch, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. That's kind of how the conversation started. <clears throat> um, and over the course of the past few months, we've realized, you know, realistically, yeah. most people do not have four times or four hours, four set hours four set specific days that they have free time to come in for a class, sit down, learn, ask questions, do all of those things in a seated environment over very specific dates, times, all of that good kind of stuff. We're all busy. And for us to figure out how to fit that in and know the right times and be able to please as many people as we can for it to work. And so we have actually put it on line. Yeah. So we have um, its own, our own, what, like, web page for it thanks to reagan yesterday for putting it together and thank you (laughs) carrie clark for a lot of the verbiage and and the advising yes for it and so um we it will be called the hatchery university and it is its own thing you don't have to be a member of the hatchery um but what it is is you will go to the hatchery.club slash the hatchery university and you can sign up there so it's twenty dollars a month and that is going to put you into a private right now Facebook group where we will upload um, hi Amber where we will upload 
um, the recordings of OA, um, <laughs> uh, the recordings of certain events that we have. We're not going to promise that all events are going to be on there, but the pertinent ones to small business and how to grow are going to be on there. Um, and then, so they will be recorded and then they will put, put on there. And then if there's handouts, we will put those in there as well. Yeah. So you can or follow we will along. get those to you via email. Yeah. Um, and then, and then the presenters will actually be able to go in and um, have discussions with, and kind of go in as the expert. Like if people had questions outside of that conversation of the event, they'll be able to go in there and have discussions yeah. with you as well. So what that means logistically yeah. is if you're someone who, you know, if every time we post an event, you mark interested and mm -hmm. you find yourself saying, I can't get to the hatchery mm -hmm. from 1130 to 1230, Monday through Friday. Like, I just can't make that right. work for myself. Yeah. Well, for $20 a month, yeah. you can access all of those events online through this specific mm -hmm. portal. And not only do you get access to those specific events, you then Sorry. get access to um, the community that's in that private mm -hmm. Facebook group. So, yeah. Or maybe you don't live in Columbia, or maybe maybe you have a job where you need the support of a co-working community, but that's not that's not possible for you. We're hoping to be able to bring that to you from the comfort of your own home mm -hmm. and from anywhere in the world. So yeah. that is going to be available to you guys. Yay. And like right now, today, yeah. Yeah. instantly yeah. today, you can follow yeah. the link that we posted. Yeah. You can go read all about, um, what's going to be included in this mm -hmm. hit buy now. And then you're yeah. and like all of our membership. This is month to month. Mm -hmm. So if you use it for a month and you decide that you, hit the classes that you needed to hit and you don't need to keep going. That's totally fine. You just yeah. need to let us know and we can cancel that automatic um, yeah. bill for you. It, but, is, it is, it does set up as an automatic yeah. thing. Um, so that way, but even like some people come into the events and they get that event, but then some, a lot of times it's like, Oh, I don't remember what they said about this. Or I don't remember what they said about that. And so um, even if you come to the live and you want to go there and that's why, um, but you don't get that intimate, like Q and A at the end, yeah, or just like meeting other people at the networking, and so that's why it is. It's twenty dollars right now, um, just recurring, and you get the events that go in there. Um, the other event that's going to be, or the other video that's going to be in there, is our feedback welcome, oh, which yeah. starts on April sixteenth. So a lot of you might have heard me talk about one million cups, which is a platform for entrepreneurs to come in and um, talk about the idea that they have, or the new business they're starting, or they're in business. You come and you present for like eight or six minutes, um, and then the community, the people sitting in the room, give you feedback. And so, whether it's um, like how you make money, or what's your target market, or how do you grow, and how do you pivot, different things like that, uh, we realize that we actually have a lot of new business here in, in Atchery, and so we are going to offer that on Mondays from 11 to 12. And you fill out an application, you come present, and then um, you sit and sit back and have not sit back because it'll be intense. I'm assuming a little bit. Well, uh, not like super intense, but like with information, it'll be constructive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah. So people will ask questions, and some of it's going to be like you know you have an idea and you're getting that focus group that you need of like is this a, a an idea that I need to pursue or maybe we just shelf it or we need to change X Y and Z. Um, but then. So those videos will be in the Hatcher University, and then, um, yeah. And currently, if you're interested in checking it out just for the month or whatever it is, right now we have up in mm -hmm. the group our class from this past week. So this yeah. past week, myself and Carrie, Gar er, Carrie Gartner, that's my <laughs> professor and not <laughs> someone who taught class here. Sorry to disappoint. Um, but not this yet. week, not Carrie yet. Clark and myself, taught a class on um, how to launch online revenue streams mm -hmm. um, online. So starting a business online, how do, where do you get started? How do you do that? How do you create passive income for yourself mm -hmm. potentially? Um, so we taught a class on that this week, got really great feedback and really great mm -hmm. um, engagement from that. That um, whole entire- they so It was sold out. Let's talk about yeah, that it was, a second. So that's, that's true. Um, but- Sorry. That no, it's okay. So that is up in there. If you want just a little preview of what we've got going on, yeah. um, that is one of the class 
is that is up there. Yeah. And that one also includes the Q&A that we did at the end. So you'll get to hear a little bit from the audience, get to hear a little bit of our suggestions. You'll get to hear me reference Justin Bieber a couple of times. Okay. So that's pretty fun. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're really excited. Um, like I said, this is the perfect opportunity for those of you that, you know, you're just in the process of getting your side hustle started. You're mm -hmm. just in the process of, you know, having a more flexible schedule, but you can't come in and hang out at these classes all of the time. Um, if that's something that's been a disappointment for you over the course of the past few months, this is the perfect opportunity to be able to get a lot of the benefits of being involved with our community yeah. um, as a startup. Or even, even if you aren't a startup, like, there's a lot of good people that could benefit from mm -hmm. this. So we're yeah. really, really excited. Yes. And um, not to be super repetitive, but just to reiterate, it is only $20 a month. Yeah. And you will get access to the vast majority of our classes throughout the month. So that's super exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So then um, just for the other upcoming events, like in person, and we're going through to find out which of these, because um, we have to, of course, talk to each presenter to see if they want them recorded and put in the, in, in the group. And our goal is to have that noted, whether it's like a little um, icon to show that that will be in the Hatcher University. It will um, likely also be included. Um, if you follow along in our events, we always notate at the bottom how much it costs for members, mm -hmm. how much it costs for the public. Um, and I just logistically will also start including whether or not it's a Hatcher yeah. University class. Um, so those of you that do join the community, you'll know, hey, this one is already going to be uploaded to Facebook, mm -hmm. so and I can see it, so I don't really need um, to rearrange my schedule to be able to be there in person. Or if but you, it is better when you come in person. Sometimes. Yeah, that's great too. But <laughs> so. you know, we all are crazy. Busy, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so this coming Monday, we have our Mindfulness Monday. That's the second. This is the second one that we've done, and this one is sold out. Which we are so excited. Which speaking of, I just think in general we definitely owe a lot of gratitude to our community um mm -hmm. over the course of the past month all but maybe one or two of our events have sold out yeah and we've had standing room only stuff so that's yeah. super super exciting and a lot of that is thanks to you guys um mm -hmm. coming in to the event inviting people that are in sharing it with people yes. commenting um, all of that stuff really does matter and it helps us and it helps you guys because then you can take that information and create more programming geared towards topics mm -hmm. that people are actually interested in yeah so thank you very much for all of the sharing and inviting and yes. all that that you guys do for us the power of social media is insane yeah. so thank you and Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. So our so, Mindfulness Monday yeah. event is sold out, um, but that is something that we're planning to put on Being once July. every quarter. Yeah. So in so, July, we'll have that up again. Yeah. Um, and then I think October yeah. is the next one. Yeah. So there's only five spaces for that. That's why that one did sell out very quickly, but the last one we did have one. So that's better. Um, <laughs> so so look, I actually have two people on the waiting list for the one in, potentially in July. So that's really exciting. Um, then on Thursday, April 12th, from 11 to 12, we have Lauren Crosby with um, <laughs> Orderly and Organized. Clearly my words are not, or my thoughts are not organized. Um, orderly and Organized coming in to talk about organizing your life in your business. She did this one um, when we, close to when we opened. And yeah. it was a really good event. So um, that's exciting. And then uh, we're just going to go over one more because just for the yeah. sake of time. But we'll Then on Wednesday. April 18th, we are going to have um, Alliance Professional Development come in and teach us how to use LinkedIn. Um, because I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> even as like a social media expert and millennial, LinkedIn is this gray area for me that no I just idea. like, I, mean, I think I overthink it a lot. Yeah. And I think a lot of people do as well. Um, it just seems so scary. So yes. this class is actually titled Unraveling the Mystery, How to Use LinkedIn. Because yes. that is how serious it is. Yeah. I just don't get it. I like, I that. really don't. I so um, Dr. Tejan is going to be awesome. Yes. She's going to come that. in. She's going to be going over how to create your profile, the key features that are there, um, things to look out for, how to find a job on LinkedIn. Yeah. So my friends that are all getting ready to graduate here in the next 30 That's some odd days and you're yeah, looking for a job, um, this class is really great for that and how to get your LinkedIn profile um, suited for professionals. Yeah. 
So or like I get on there like once every three weeks and I'm like, Oh, connections like approve, approve, approve. And then like they'll message me and then I'll get back on three weeks later. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, sorry. I never check this. You know and what it's I like, use LinkedIn it's really, for? Oh, what? I use LinkedIn to see who from my high school is like checking up on me. Cause you can see who views your page. Yeah, that is and like why I don't like creep on too much. Cause yeah. you can totally see who it is. Oh, if I want to creep, I'm smart. And I log myself out. Cause you can still see people's LinkedIn uh -huh. profiles when you're not logged in. Look at that. Just, so just be weird. Something. No, but really, the only time I ever get on there is when I'm like, I want to see what people think. And nine times out of ten, girls that were really mean to me in high school have been scrolling through my LinkedIn, and it's like, because mm -hmm. you have such I a you. high prestigious <laughs> job and oh, title. That's it's why. I'm very, very professional. Yes, as you can see from these past Facebook lives. I yeah, I mean, um, you're a business casual today. <laughs> I'm playing guys, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. I'm not wearing that one scarf. I wear like twice a week. Not only that green cardigan I wear like twice a week. It's a big day it's, here at the house. It's, it's a Friday that we we're both, not messing around. We both washed our hair. This morning. That does I did not last happen. night, but oh, still. Yeah. That's a big deal. I know. I even said that on my Instagram story this morning. Like I shaved my legs and washed my hair in the same setting. It's a shower really, setting. really hard job, guys. It is. But back to the topic. That LinkedIn class is called How to Use LinkedIn. It's going to be on Wednesday. How to be professional. How to be professional. Maybe yeah. we need that class. Um, it's going to be on Wednesday, April 18th yeah. from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. And so, both of those have 12 seats yeah. total. I need to check up on the RSVP list of that. But I think we've got a couple spots reserved. But, um, yeah. Exciting stuff. Yeah, that's what we have so, going on. Patrick yeah. University. Whew, yeah. What's been good? Oh, how did it go from like 12 minutes to 17? Real quick, one good thing this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Sort through My, through. like, it's been, honestly, I'm going to be real. It's been a real tough week. Um, my portfolio is due today, and my like close to final draft of my capstone was due yesterday. So I have like six days to edit all of those things and be ready. So it's been a really stressful week, but it's kind of a huge relief to get that stuff done. Mm. Um, I guess my high for the week is that I got my personal business cards printed, yes. and I went through a printer that I've never used before. Which those of you in content and printing and just business in general know yeah. how scary that can be. Um, and my business cards turned out perfectly. So if yeah, you're really interested cool. in using Canva for printing services, um, I was wildly impressed by the result yeah. that I received. And the cost versus um, other places was more than competitive and it was really great. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, and Amber said my business cards look awesome. Thank you so much. Mm, yeah, if um, you follow us on Instagram, that's where we oh, get yeah. a little. I guess we can plug our awesome. we can plug our personal Instagrams. Yeah. Um, my Instagram is Reagan R A I G A N dot M as in Mary. I changed it this week. I. Don't, it used to be. Um, I don't know. What it mine used to is. be my middle name. Yeah, yours is like Mine's, your last name and some numbers. Yeah. Quick nine two four. Yeah, because that's you will see a range of random on mine. Yeah, if you think we're funny, <laughs> our personal Instagrams are great. We'll not let you down to start for that. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think those are my highs. Just kind of in our hatchery one, of course, too. Yeah, hatchery that is the, oh. the hatchery club. <laughs> yeah, the hatchery club on Instagram. Yeah. give us a follow, guys. Yeah, um, so, yeah, we love our social media. <sighs> My think my high what are like the great thing was just like how easily the Hatcher University and this feedback welcome has oh, come. Yeah. And I know that you talked like you sent me a message last night. I was already in bed. Um because I was out. Um I just don't follow the rules. <laughs> we <laughs> decided a few weeks ago that we were gonna both try to start Thumbs keeping off. each other like yeah. accountable for like going to bed at a decent hour, waking up at a decent hour. Because news flash, this isn't gonna be news to any of you, but like when you're an entrepreneur and in the small business space, it is so easy to just like, I'll just stay up till 1230. Yeah, and pretend and, and, like I'm doing yeah, something and productive. Care for myself. Go Watching to bed. Netflix for an hour and a half no. is not self-care. I did that with a Fuller House the other night. Fuller House. It's 
Come on. Not good. It's terrible. Really bad. But I just need to know what happens and I'll be done with it. Um, but I made it to like one episode and was done. Um, anyways. Yeah. Um, that. <laughs> yeah. But we were so we were supposed to turn our phones off at 9 p.m. And she texted me at 9.45, which I was out because I fell asleep with Ellie at 8 p.m., um, which made mornings awesome. Um, but I think just how how everything has worked out, whenever we were working on, I don't even know what you're talking about. I go to bed early and get up early. <laughs> Amber, you're just okay, so Amber. amazing. Yes. Um, but we when we were trying to figure out our memberships the last time, we just hit roadblocks after roadblocks. And and, and there's been a lot of other like behind the scenes um just things that we thought would be good decisions that ultimately were were not and yeah. they just weren't because they didn't work out and yeah. that's 100 percent okay and this has been this transition into the hatcher university and over um a couple of other things that we're starting to offer has been so seamless yeah. compared to those things um I think that's, that's really, like, uh, my word for, like, personally, my word for 2018, like, to uh, overachiever, um, was <laughs> trust and patience, which is so, so effing hard to do, one, in life, and two, in business, and um, I think it, it definitely showed, like, when you try to force something, it just, it, you're going to keep forcing it, and that's what we've tried to do with a couple things, and like, well, okay, like, okay, we get it, universe, got it, yeah. we're not going to do it, but some of these things that we've been doing, just, like, the trust and patience have paid off, because they're just working out so, not easy, but it's, like, we're, we're it's simple, to be able to like put in place, use the resources that we have, whether it's a person or something that we're already doing. And we're like, oh, people like that. Let's offer it. Yeah. And, yeah. And that definitely so, goes along with like the theme of shift and like learning. Mm -hmm. Learning yeah. about change is good. And it's yeah. All, which is really hard when you're incredibly neurotic and anxiety ridden in general. So that's like her. And then I'm like, let's do it. How do we do this? <laughs> I'm the devil's advocate in the background. And I'm the big like, picture. Yeah, which is good. Some days, though, I'm like, really well. my idea was terrible. But if I didn't get it out of my brain, it would just not be good. Yeah. So, well, and yeah. I don't know. This is I'm, this might be naive, and I don't think it's any like kind of profound advice. But when we struggle to like mesh on ideas, I think that in and of itself mm -hmm. is something that mm -hmm. is very indicative of yeah, like the voice and overall message of what we're trying to do potentially and whatever that idea is, is somewhat being ignored. So mm. it's been, it's been a good month for us. Yeah. And we mentioned that last time, but, um, we're just doing good guys and we hope you are too. So, yeah. um, and you know, I would say that the weather's doing great, but oh the snow my again. Gosh. Tomorrow, so. Yeah, yesterday was awesome. Yeah. And last second plug, Poop Design Co. has for first Fridays, oh, yeah. has their carnival tonight, rain, sun or snow it is inside it's inside the yeah outside. so um go check out who design code it's all for um the rainbow house and so i know ellie and i are going to be there i think we're going to try to go it depends if it's snowing well no, no it depends on whether or not my child um gets all his stickers at school today for making oh, good choices so fun. um but yeah we're gonna we're going to attempt to make that happen but it's a carnival treats yeah. all the benefits go to, to Rainbow, Rainbow House. House. And the more money you spend, the more likely it is that the Hoot Design Co. team is going to have to get tattoos. Yeah. So if Legit that's something tattoos. that you're interested yes. in, like I am, <laughs> um, take my money. Go <laughs> spend money. Um, no, but seriously, it's been a really good week. Thanks so much for being yeah, along for the ride, guys. guys. I just awkwardly like scratched my ear. That's professional. <laughs> well, I mean, let's not even talk about all of the things that have happened. I there know, have but been, that was so weird. I didn't that, that bad. You weren't picking your nose. It's fine. It's <laughs> uh, be deal. Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, check yeah. out, be sure to check out the Hatchery University. Um, that is um, linked <laughs> in here. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks yes. so much. See ya. Yeah, bye, Amber. I'm not getting a tattoo. Yeah, I'm not getting a tattoo. I'm scared. But maybe after I graduate. Bye, guys. Yeah, bye. Yeah. <laughs>